Are you really happy being yourself or are you just comfortable? I am comfortable in being myself. Are you? Actually, no. Maybe I'm afraid of the results of being anything different from what I have been. People are familiar with this version of me. What will what they, they think of me? But are you happy with that version of yourself? No, but I don't know how to change. You nailed it. Most people realize that they need to change, but they don't know how to make that change. Working on yourself takes a little bit of undoing before you can actually put in that work. Some women or people may have even attempted to make these changes, but because of familiar experiences from your past, it kind of becomes harder for you to predict any different results from your future. Let's give you an example. If you try to dress well and someone said, where do you think you're going with that? What's wrong with you? Who do you think you are? If someone broke up with you because of your weight, or your looks, or your height, or you being an independent, strong woman was not a quality that others approved of, then this becomes a bad memory for you. And then you don't expect anything different from your future if you even try to make that change or keep up with it. I've seen women who stopped working out because they thought they didn't fit in with the rest of their friends who did not work out. People start to smoke so they can fit in with a certain group of people at work. This should all be familiar to most of you who are watching this video. You want to define a strong personal brand, don't you? I'm Parmita Katkar and as your image coach, that is what I'm here to help you with. I want to transform the message you are communicating about yourself, sometimes with the way you are speaking or even before you actually start speaking. Today we are going to talk about how to go from be yourself to become yourself. Okay, so are you ready? I'm going to give you some challenges today if you feel stagnated with your current self-image. Number one, visualization. To get used to your new self-image, start to visualize yourself as the new you. Take five minutes, I mean after this video, no rush. Now close your eyes and visualize how you want to look. How do you dress? How will you deal with certain people or certain situations? Not how you have been doing it so far, but how do you expect this better version of you to act? Rehearse the new you and then actually behave as that person in real time situations. Do check out some of my other videos where I have talked about and even enacted situations such as how to deal with people who talk over you or if you want to feel more respected at your workplace. Number two, watch your self talk. How do you talk about yourself? Avoid using language that implies you don't value yourself because when you don't value yourself, others don't either. Avoid using sentences like, I'm so stupid, I've never been good at whatever. If someone gives you a compliment, don't say something like, oh, you should have seen me without makeup. Stop putting yourself down and replace it with a strong and positive statement about yourself. Number three is to take better care of yourself. Dress for success and dress with a purpose not just to cover your body, not just the first thing that you find in your closet that is just comfortable. Explore what your wardrobe could look like outside of these sweatshirts, joggers, leggings and baggy clothes. Take care of yourself. Spend more time on yourself. Get rid of your split ends by getting a regular haircut. Get rid of the brassy hair color. Work out and take care of your body. Make better choices with your food. Meditate and focus on your daily affirmations. This kind of lifestyle gives an impression that you respect yourself and your body. People instantly notice this and they respect that too. Most women want to make this self-transformation but don't know how to define their voice through their presence. And I mean even before you open your mouth. Now it's not always because you are shy. It is because you didn't have the clarity or the knowledge on how to stand out and have a clear message about yourself. And that message isn't something you explain with speech alone. Speech comes much later. First or last or any impression in your presence or even behind your back about you comes from your personal branding skills. Just like any other skill or profession, you can't just develop that style, that mindset, that image, that body language, your social media presence by mere guesswork. It doesn't work like that. If anything, it can be demotivating and it'll put you back in your shell. This is where my coaching programs and masterclasses can help. I'm going to host a four hour masterclass for you and for women with a motivated mindset, just like yours, who want to discover how to create that 2.0 version of yourself using four personal brand style secrets. 
And you can achieve that even if you thought that you lack confidence, you're self-conscious or you feel invisible. This masterclass is called Discover how to create the 2.0 version of your self-image using four powerful personal brand style secrets. Visit the website linked below personalbrandingstyle.com. The first 20 enthusiasts to reserve their spot now will be rewarded with 50% off discount as a scholarship to invest in yourself. Use promo code GIFTYOURSELF50 for this value. You can still register after the 20 spots are taken, but at full price. What are you waiting for? Fastest finger first. Okay, back to the topic. How many of you tailor your answer as per your audience? If you're on a date, or in a job interview, or if you are a representative of your company. All these require you to tweak your introduction, but I see most people underprepared with this one question. Tell us something about yourself. Let me give you one example. One of my clients, an empty nester, was starting her dating life again after being single for almost 14 odd years. Her introduction sounded like, I'm just a mom. I was taking care of my son till he started going to college. I'm just alone now and I have some free time on hand so I thought maybe I can start dating and see where it goes. By the way, I get it. A lot of people don't want to date a mom of an older grown-up boy. I'm not that old actually. I'm not really old. If you like that act, hit that like button. It looks like this. It doesn't hurt you. Click it. Now let me tell you what it sounded like after we tweaked her introduction. I'm a successful business owner and as a single parent, I prioritized raising a confident, independent and a beautiful boy. Now it is time for me to take charge of myself. I'm very excited about my life ahead and I'm hoping to share my journey with someone with an exciting personality. Did you see that? The second one was spoken with passion, pride and positivity versus the first one which had pity and lack of confidence. I suggest don't ramble this introduction about yourself. Don't memorize it, but keep these three P's in mind. Let me see if you remember what were the three P's I mentioned. Passion, pride, positivity. I'm very excited to invite those of you who want to learn to shift your mindset and your personal brand style. Again, the masterclass is on this date. The link to this masterclass is in the description below and this is what it should look like. Copy this link and share it with the women you want to watch succeed. I am as eager to see your personal brand message transform as you are. Hashtag invest in yourself. I will see you next week on my YouTube channel and very soon on my masterclass. Until then, blush with me.